Um, so a lot of uh, patients and family members um, wonder about um, what we call tumor biomarkers when it comes to hepatocellular carcinoma or liver cancer. Um, are they uh, being used um, to diagnose patients? And once diagnosed, do we even use them um, down the line uh, to help with treatment decisions? So when it comes to hepatocellular carcinoma, the um, uh, major uh, established biomarker is called alpha ferroprotein or AFP. And this tumor marker is very useful in diagnosis, so specifically for those patients um, who have established chronic liver disease, such as hepatitis history, hepatitis B or C, or established cirrhosis or scarring tissue in their liver. And we usually like to um, screen them every six months with imaging and alpha ferroprotein. And for those uh, patients who are newly diagnosed with liver cancer, we use the same marker alpha ferroprotein to monitor their treatment response and if the marker is going up or down on the treatment. Now, one third of the patients could have negative biomarker um, um, in certain cases, but when it is elevated, it is useful. And nowadays we have been doing a lot of research in the area of uh, immune biomarkers and other biomarkers uh, to see if there are other biomarkers that could be of value to be added to alpha ferroprotein. There are, you know, a lot of situations where biomarkers really help us with uh, the, the treatment um, decisions. So, for example, um, biomarkers um, related to um, the um, uh, tumor uh, progression in liver cancer. If we see a, a small lesion forming, we don't know based on the imaging if it is cancerous or not, and then we see elevated alpha ferroprotein, which was normal, and then with the scan, it is elevated. It helps us in deciding if the lesion is truly cancerous and then starting treatment, you know, so this is a treatment decision at that point. Also, there are biomarkers in um, case of liver cancer patients that can help us um, characterize the liver reserve, how um, bad is the hepatic reserve, for example. So we always um, know that we are treating two diseases in uh, patients with liver cancer. In one hand, we have the cancer itself, hepatocellular carcinoma. On the other hand, we do have the underlying liver disease, chronic liver disease leading up to cirrhosis and scarring tissue. So there are certain biomarkers we measure um, in the blood, uh, bilirubin level, albumin level, um, INR we call it. And these markers can help us establish a scoring system. We call it child PO classification. And um, we also uh, measure this in all patients with liver cancer to make sure that their liver function is, is, is doing very well. And if it is not, it is very risky to entertain aggressive therapies. At MD Anderson, we also established other scoring systems. One of them is called insulin-like growth factor one, IGF-1 scoring system, which aids um, um, in addition to the child puke classification. It helps us um, in uh, studies we did here at MD Anderson uh, in predicting patient's response to therapy. So there is a lot of um, research in this area to improve on the existing biomarkers that we use, not only for cancer, but also to assess the liver reserve. So in general, for liver cancer, for example, you know, if patients are following up with their primary care physician, especially those patients who know that they have some liver disease, either hepatitis, for example, or fatty liver. So those patients um, follow up with their reg regular physicians. And usually, if they meet the criteria for screening, they get screened with imaging and tumor marker, biomarker in the form of alpha ferroprotein every six months. So close follow up with their physicians to make sure that they are uh, performing every six months um, uh, imaging and blood marker um, based on the screening guidelines if they meet them. So that's all with the best safeguard. So in these patients who are being monitored closely, these are the patients that if you know they develop cancer, uh, a lot of cases it is very small and it could be amenable for some curative options such as surgery or even liver transplant. So that's the key that uh, adherence to screening programs with your primary care physician can always be the safeguard to lead to diagnosis of the cancer early on where you could, you could be offered a curative uh, treatment option.
in general we always advise our patients who uh, get diagnosed with uh, uh, any kind of cancer not only liver is uh, number one of course you know to adhere with the primary care physician referral uh, and also um, um, try to look for um, a center where you could be uh, managed um, in a multidisciplinary manner and this is very classic in almost all oncology practices nowadays that you always um, go to a team that will manage you in a team manner medical oncologists radiation oncologists interventional a radiologist and surgeon so all of these teams can work together and that's the key nowadays that you know um, all of our oncologists manage their patients in a team manner so that's the single advice that you know make sure that you seek advice and uh, look for a multidisciplinary manner um, um, kind of um, management which is available now everywhere around the country